sitting in the heart of Transylvania, the town of Rizhnov, home to 15,000 people and where small businesses are trying to make a go of things. We're heading to a bijou clothing company run by a husband and wife with a passion for design. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Please come in. Thank you. T-shirts and dresses among the items coming off the sewing machines here. But the team isn't what it used to be. 15, now down to five. Owner Diana tells us it's tough to recruit and retain young, motivated and qualified staff. It's very difficult. It's very difficult because they are not specialised. You take them, you, you, help, you, you teach them how to do things and they, they leave because they uh, feel like uh, abroad is it's, uh, it's better for them. Some of the company's production has been moved to Bucharest. The boss is not ruling out taking some to Bulgaria too, keeping it in the EU, but with little EU help, Diana tells us. I think the European Union does a lot of things to help us. <laughs> but our governors do not want to take that money. And if they take that money, they make it very, very difficult to... To, for us to, to benefit from that money. But this is a company hungry for growth, banking on digital expansion to grow its 300,000 euro annual turnover. And if it doesn't work out in Romania, Diana and her husband may up sticks. Even my partner, he's, a very, he's very fond of Romania and he never wanted to move. He said, maybe we don't have to keep on uh, hoping and maybe we can uh, find another place. Nearby Brazov is one of Romania's biggest cities, a big contributor to the country's economy. How easy is it to carve out a living here? Time for our red sofa. So a lot of people are leaving for uh, better salaries in Western Europe. And um, um, well, also uh, as all of Europe has a, a birth problem, there's not enough children being born, and I think that's also a problem. Only good part it's the rental because it's very cheap here, but the food, the when you go out with friends, you must pay a lot of money, and uh, you don't earn to go out like the other countries. Romania's economy has grown since joining the EU, but developing and holding on to its workforce is now one of the biggest challenges it faces. Damon Embling, Euronews in Transylvania.